cold sunshine on Thursday. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, we did it. We got our first measurable snowfall today in Knoxville. Barry Flannery captured the snow bunny. I thought this was very appropriate. Very nice to see that. Thank you, for sharing that picture with us on social. And by the way, Diane Ladyhawk also capturing some snow in East Maryville, which really isn't that far from the airport. How much snow did we get at the airport? Actually picked up 0.7. Wasn't quite an inch, but some may have had more. Some may have had much less. Either way, this is kind of like a hiccup in the big picture because it was pretty much done in about three hours' time from about 7 to about 10 o'clock in most cases. But once it's over, uh, we had the sun pop out. We had an early high of 56 that occurred just after midnight. We had a daytime high of 39 in Knoxville, daytime high in Oak Ridge of 41 degrees. We actually bottomed out at 1014 in the morning at 32 degrees. The high temperature misleading. It was an upside-down day. Obviously, no control of when those fronts come through, but it was Certainly warmer on the early part, the pre-dawn hours, more so than it was at the end of the day. High temperatures around the state were in the upper 40s today in Nashville, Memphis, and some of those numbers could have been earlier in the day. Meanwhile, as we take a look at the ultimate Doppler radar, we've been dealing with some uh, lingering flurries. We call it that, a few leftover flakes, but the trend for tonight is for clearing skies. And you can see from the radar as of just about 8.15, there are still a few specks of green around Rogersville, maybe a few flakes up in parts of southeast Kentucky, but much of that's trying to move out of the picture. Let's go back in time. You can see at least the afternoon was pretty quiet. Then there were a few flakes that came in around 7 o'clock, maybe through La Follette and Clinton, but a lot of that has now moved out of the picture. So as we watch this animation uh, play one more time, you can see around La Follette, Clinton, a couple of flurries came in around 7 p.m. Meanwhile, if you want to check out something you're great to eat, check out Marcos.com. They do deliver. Hardin Valley, Farragut, Maryville. They have locations in Fountain City, Halls, Oak Ridge, and Middlebrook Pike. Ebenezer Road. They give back to No Kid Hungry. They give back to East Tennessee Children's Hospital. They have a magnificent and pizza they call the Magnifico for less than $10. It's a great deal, but if you like a little extra on your pizza, I do, I do like that from time to time. The Deluxe is fantastic. It has Italian sausage and pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions, and the original sauce. And the signature three cheeses, it's delicious. Check out the Deluxe Pizza at Marcos.com. As we say goodbye to the flakes tonight, we say goodbye to the clouds, and it's like ripping off the blanket from the bed, so to speak. Uh, certainly, this is the, the reanimation of what we saw moments ago. Most of it's been aloft, but those flakes coming through La Folla, Clinton, and Tazewell, Rogersville, now on the way out of the picture. Meanwhile, what has interested many of us is the fact that we did get some beneficial rain. We did receive 0.47. That's just under a half inch of rain, much needed rain, I might add, that fell at the airport prior to the snow uh, and the changeover. More snow occurring now in the Great Lakes, parts of upstate New York and Pennsylvania, but we have now received over two and a half inches of rain for the month. That's key, 2.55 when we average about five inches. So we're not even into the 15th of the month. We haven't even reached the middle of the month, and we've reached about halfway as far as what might be normal for the, the month in terms of rainfall. Temperature right now, as of the 8 o'clock hour, 39 in Knoxville. It's not bitterly cold in Bowling Green. They're at 37 and 39 in Jackson, Tennessee. We do expect to drop down to the mid-20s, about 26 for Knoxville, as we say hello to Thursday and look for lots of sunshine to develop. In fact, it will be full sunshine. Cold on Thursday, highs around 44. Hazy sun and clouds Friday, and expect maybe a little bit more cloud cover on Saturday. Clouds and hazy sun with some rain coming in well after dark. Looks like it's uh, pushing a little bit later, probably more likely after 9 p.m. Future cast shows again the flakes moving out. We go into tomorrow morning with this high moving up from Mississippi, Alabama. It's just going to keep it nice and bright. Uh, we could call it deceiving sunshine because you look out the window all day tomorrow. It's sunny, but it's not exactly warming up, so a nice jacket will go a long way. Moving into Friday, we add a few extra high clouds and maybe a little more haze to the atmosphere, and then more clouds coming in on Saturday. You can see Saturday morning, there's some rain in Springfield back towards St. Louis as the front lifts toward Indiana. And then we go toward midday Saturday. We're still dry, so outdoor activities will be fine. This puts a little bit of a piece of energy there in Kentucky, maybe west of Oneida, 515. But the bulk of it's going to come in after 9 o'clock. And then by early Sunday, I think we've got a pretty soggy situation developing uh, the first day of next week. So for tonight, we're down to 26 Clearing skies, it will turn frosty cold if it's not uh, soon to be developing and where you are. 24 for Newport. Look for a wake-up temperature around 6, 7 o'clock in Crossville at 22. 
25 for Lafollette, Campbell County, and 25 for Maryville, Alcoa. Thursday, we're looking for a high of 44, bright sunshine and cold. Winds won't be too terribly strong, about 3 to 8 miles per hour, but enough to make you know that winter's still here. 45 in Newport, 42 for Morristown, White Pine, Talbot, and Jeff City, about 45 for Kingston, 45 for Maynardville, as well as Sharps Chapel. By the way, if you haven't picked up the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic, I hope you'll do so. Uh, all you have to do is download the two words, Captain Accurate, the App Store, Google Play, and it will come back into play. So here's the seven-day forecast. As we're happy that you're here, notice that the temperatures tomorrow will actually actually turn warmer by Friday. Friday, we're exceeding 50 in many locations, about 51. And then we hold pretty close to normal. Normal high is 52 now. So we're actually getting above average near 60 at least, upper 50s Monday, Tuesday. No concern for uh, snowflakes in that period of time. So it looks like it's just a rain event for Sunday. Uh, a rain event on a Tuesday morning especially, and it looks like it's drying out on Wednesday, but more rain could come back in on Thursday. So we should make up for a little bit of lost time in terms of the rainfall and the water table, and so it goes. Well, I'll have, I'll have the latest update with a live update tomorrow morning on Thursday. That's the day the drought monitor comes out. We'll be interested to see that, something you can also pick up on the app. Again, Pete Michaels Traffic, the best traffic reporter in town. Make sure you download the app. It now has a 10-day forecast, as well as the drought monitor, power outages, and air quality alerts. So much to uh, offer in this free app. We'll hope to see you soon. Take care.